Now let's look at those uh, different acceleration uh, with, with a timer. So what we're going to do is, like we, what we do with research, we, we measure acceleration with 20 feet or about 6 meters and we're going to do four different types of accelerations that are typically used in uh, skating instructional programs. We're going to do a, a crossover hop, we're going to do a running start, we're going to do a, a start from, a, from a, a, a T position or a T start and then we're just going to do a normal push and go start. So I'm going to go, then Nolan's going to go, and we're going to try all four of them, and we're going to see which one is faster so that we can prove to you objectively that the last one that we've talked about is just pushing and going, not hopping, not running, and not, certainly not starting from a T position like this is a faster way. So Nolan and I are going to go one at a time, and the first one we're going to do is the hop, the crossover hop. So we're starting here and, and crossing over, and then a little bit of a run and let's see what time I did there so I was 1.56 and when Nolan goes whenever you're ready Nolan so Nolan Nolan's time was 1.53 now the next one is going to be a running start so you'll see this a lot of in some instructional programs they'll sometimes put sticks there and you got to run over the sticks so let's see what time we can get when we're running this time Nolan okay so you're on your toes and you're running as fast as you can and we'll see what time I got on that 1.55 and let's see what Nolan can do when he's running that was a nice little run Nolan that was good 1.42 with your heels together and both sticks both hands on the ice or both hands on the stick and then starting from here. So let's see what we can do here. All right, take a look what I did here. 1.40. All right, Nolan, let's see what you can do, buddy. Heels together, that's it. And Nolan was 1.50. And now let's check the last acceleration out. So this one is just a normal push and go, uh, not hopping. Not, uh, no, not our heels aren't being bit together. We're just going to push and go, and we'll see how, how we do on this one. All right, let's see what I did on that one now. 1.24. So that was that was a little bit faster. Now let's see what Nolan does with that normal push and go. Fast feet. That's it, Nolan. That was good. Right on. And Nolan's got 1.37. Now I know you saw the, uh, the times on the camera and I know that you uh, heard them when we, I was calling them out, but I just wanted to go over these again uh, like we would, did a, would do in a research uh, setting just to make it a little bit more objective. So when I did the crossover, my time was 1.56. When Nolan did the crossover, his time was 1.53. When we did the running start, my time was 1.55. Nolan was 1.43. The T start with our heels together, I was 1.40 and Nolan was 1.50. But, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. When we did just the push and go with your feet apart in a good ready position, uh, quick feet, quick acceleration, three strides, my time was 1.24. So that's almost a quarter of a second faster than, than the rest of them. And Nolan's was 1.37. So the, the point here is this, that that running crossover and hopping up and down, running up and down and having your feet together are actually slower ways of accelerating than just being in the ready position and having three quick strides.